Okay, there's the basic part of our cabinet. Now the other thing in this cabinet to give it additional strength, uh, I'm going to add a quarter of an inch piece of plywood on the whole back for rigidity. So again, with nothing selected, I'm going to click on the rectangle tool and pull the box down to this bottom corner and click. And then I want to click on this and this needs to be pulled out for a quarter of an inch which uh, might be difficult to do so if I pull it out and then before I do anything else type in my one fourth inch one slash four shift quote for inch mark The other thing I'm noticing here that this didn't quite come up to the top, so I'll just click on that and pull it up to the top. And there we have our, looks like I need the same thing on the bottom. And there we have our base cabinet for a cabinet that we're building. So you can see by using a couple tools that was very quick and easy to do and uh, we were ready to go for the next particular part. Now the other thing I want to do because these drawers slide in and are separate again it's very convenient if you grab the whole shape make the whole shape a component so we'll right click make component and type in base cabinet and again make sure replace selection with component is selected and hit create. Oh, okay, in this case that's uh, already a name I've got so I'm gonna have to come up and change that to a new name. Base cabinet and I'm gonna put pullouts because it has pullout type drawers and create. Okay, there we go. So now what we have is the base cabinet, the structure that will support and hold our pull-out drawers as a separate unit. Now, <coughs> one of the requirements for these drawer slides, and I have it just as a gray indication over here, uh, is these are a half inch thick. And based on the ones you buy, you need to read your instructions. But the instructions for this is that this slide out should have a half inch clearance all the way around on the inside of our base cabinet. So the easiest way to get that started is to click on our base cabinet. Double click again so that you get a highlight and I'm just going to click on <coughs> uh, the edges here to make my panel. Just a minute. Okay, so I'm going to change. Do not select it. What we want to do first is come back here with it unselected. I'll get it right here today. Click on the corner. Draw in a box. There we go. Highlight that box. Now again I'm going to hit right and reverse face. And since I want a half inch clearance all the way around, I can come up and click on <coughs> uh, the offset tool here. Click on it, come on the edge and then pull in a new box. And by looking at my measurement down in the corner I can pull down till I get that half inch clearance and release. Now if I just highlight the area inside and I, I'm doing so so I'm not getting any lines. If I double click see I'd get the outline. I just want this inside area. Hit delete and now here is the size parameters 
for making our pull-out shelf. And so the again, just like we did the other thing we want to do is we want to have our box that we're going to make this section in drawn first, the cardboard box that it would be shipped in. So I'm going to use the push-pull tool and pull this back into the back space. Now I'm leaving a space between the back wall and the back of the cupboard and uh, <coughs> you could make that different space based on what you wanted to do. Uh, the sliders have a certain length so the depth or thickness of this drawer might be ter determined by the sliders you buy or it just might be a space you come up with say the minimum might be a half inch like the space that's around everything else. Okay so now I'm going to double click or triple click till I highlight that again cardboard box right click make component and I'm going to name this slide out drawer again making sure that replace section with component is selected and hit create now trying to create all the detail on this pullout shelf or drawer inside the box would be very difficult. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to create a location item that I can come back and use later to get this right back in the right space easier. I'm going to click out here so nothing is selected. I'm going to click on the line tool or hit the L key and I'm going to draw a line on the green axis that comes right straight out from the drawer. And I'm going to draw this out so that it comes out a considerable distance and I'll explain that distance later. Or I, I could show you now. This will be also to demonstrate the slide function of our drawer. So if I click on my component in here now, hit the M key for the move tool, grab this corner, I can slide my box out along that line so that I can see how that drawer will work and how I can slide it in and out later on once I get all the drawers made. Okay, so what we're going to do now is take the move tool and just move this clear out over here out of the way so we can work on constructing <coughs> our drawer and meet the requirements that we want for that drawer. Now this drawer is essentially made by a frame that runs all the way around the outside perimeter of the drawer. And in this case, I'm going to be using material that's 5 eighths of an inch thick. So I want to click on the end section. I'm going to use my <coughs> offset tool again, click on the edge, and pull down till I get my 5 eighths let go and there is the thickness of my boards all the way around I'm going to click on the center section and then use the push tool and if I push this all the way through to the outside edge and let go then I have my <coughs> hollow shape for the cabinet now the other thing I want to do is I want to decide how I'm going to actually make this cabinet and I want to give it some additional strength. So I'm going to make some miter joints here. And uh, since the weight is going to be pulling down this way on the cabinet, the way I'm going to make my miter is I'm going to make it in the end boards here. So I want to click and highlight that space. Need to come in pretty close. Hit the L or get the pencil tool start on the corner edge I'm going to come over a quarter of an inch click and then come down to match this corner see I'm going to come over and pick it up first so I can come back and make sure I'm right straight across 